Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the new enhanced ramp entry style for Z level finish within 1CNC XR5. Now, the ability to ramp when you're using Z level finish has been around for a couple of versions, but 1CNC has made a nice enhancement to this. Now, I think the best way to demonstrate this would be to first show you this in XR4 and then show you what it looks like in XR5. So I'm going to hop over to XR4. Here's exactly the same part. All right, let's head up to our SMT tool pass. We're going to use Z-Level Finish, and I'm using a half-inch ball end mill. All this looks good. We're going to use ramp boundary, and I'm going to use, well, let's make it 45 degrees. All right, I'm going to use a huge depth of cut just to demonstrate what's happening here. All that looks great. That looks good, and that looks good. Now let's back plot this tool path so we can take a look at it a little closer. I'm going to rotate this around and zoom in. So within XR4, you can see what's happening here. The tool ramps down to depth, goes all the way around, and then never really completes that depth of cut. Right when it gets to where that, right where it gets to where that ramp starts, it wraps up, comes over, and then repeats the same process. But the key here is that notice that each depth of cut never completes all the way around. All right, now let's head over into XR5. I'm going to execute exactly the same command. Let's head over here to our Z level finish. Again, we're going to use a half inch diameter ball end mill. All these parameters are exactly the same. Let's change this to 45 degrees here. That looks good. Our depth of cut, let's make that the same thing. Let's make that a half inch. That looks fine. That looks great there. Let's go ahead and execute that. All right, same thing here. I'm going to back plot this. All right, so if I rotate this around to where we're ramping in, you can see that within XR5, what's happening is the tool ramps down goes all the way around at that depth of cut and then completes the cut then performs the ramp. You can see there's no gap so let's quickly go back to XR4 really fast. You can see the gaps there. Let's go back to XR5 and you can see that there's no gaps in there. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.